Hi, my name is Dr. Vicki Fisher and I'm a pediatric optometrist and I would love to share with you a free app that I just discovered that I use myself all the time and I think it would be a really huge benefit to a lot of different types of people. So what this app can do is it does a lot of things, but it can actually read your books to you, your hardcover or softcover books to you. So this could be a huge benefit, say for example, to people who have dyslexia, who have problems reading, it will actually take the words that you're reading and read it to you. Um, also somebody who has eye tracking problems or, or ocular motor dysfunction, it will actually put a little red line under the words that you're reading and track along the page. Um, this is also really good for somebody who has low vision. And what's really great if you have low vision and you can't see those small little letters, you can maximize it on your screen, on your iPad or your personal computer, and it will read it to you as you are looking at an enlarged version of that word, and then you can shrink it back down again. You can um, also write directly on it with a you know a pen on the computer, and then if you don't like what you wrote, you can just erase it again, or you can highlight words, erase the words. It's really cool, it's really interactive. Um, for me, I use it all the time because I love to read, but I spend a lot of time in the car. I just don't have time to read books anymore. But there's a lot of books that aren't available on audiobooks. So what I do is I scan them into a PDF form and then I have my iPhone or my iPad read the books to me. I can do it when I'm on the treadmill or on the car. So it's a really huge time saver for me. So I absolutely love it. Also, if you have, say for example, um, ADHD or ADD and you have a hard time focusing on what you're reading or concentrating, you know, it helps the flow of it reading it to you that you have to follow along. It makes you go faster. So you can say, do it slow when you're first learning it, and then you can actually speed the reading up to help improve your reading speed. So I notice that when I use the app, I actually read better and read faster. So I really enjoy this app a lot, and I'd like to share with you how I use it. So to begin, one of the things that you have to do is you have to have, it's a PDF reader, so you have to have your book in PDF format. So say for example, I have like a regular textbook like this one, what you have to do is you have to go to Office Depot or Staples or some kind of supply store and ask them to chop the binding off the book. And then what you do is you uh, run it through a high-speed scanner, so this is the book that is chopped off. Um, you run it through a high-speed scanner that has OCR, or optical character recognition. Um, to do a book like this size, for example, it only takes about 5 to 10 minutes. It's, it's not that long. Um, and then when you're done, I actually prefer to hole punch my books because then they're really easy for me to flip through. It's a lot easier than, say, a regular book. We use the Fujitsu Scan Snap. It costs about $290 and can scan 10 pages at a time, and it comes with the ScanSnap software. To set up the software, I recommend using black and white because it will make a smaller file size and do duplex if, it's, if your book's duplex, and you want to convert to a searchable PDF. You want to shrink the document feeder down to the size of your page. Then feed in about 10 pages at a time. It will take about 5 to 15 minutes to scan an entire book. When you're done, you can three-hole punch it and put it in a binder. What I really like about this is that I can carry all of my books or textbooks with me at all times, and I can write directly on them, and I can share them with anybody that I would like to collaborate with. Then when I'm done, I can erase anything that I wrote. The first six months of life are, therefore, very important in the development of visual acuity and many other aspects of the visual system. When discussing the development of the visual system, it is important to mention the concept of plasticity and sensitivity. As described above, the infant is born with poor acuity. There you have it. I hope that this app helps you learn better and faster.